Hello everyone and welcome back to the iMachines channel. Today, we will learn about large ship construction process. ZF Marine is a leading manufacturer of fixed pitch propellers for commercial and pleasure crafts. Their propellers are designed and produced using advanced computational fluid dynamics tools to analyze water flow around the vessel, ensuring that the propeller shafting system runs efficiently. Each propeller system is designed to meet the company's high-quality standards as well as any classification society requirements. The manufacturing process begins by creating custom poo molds using state-of-the-art numerical control machines. These molds are then coated with silica sand and placed in a metal case for casting. After smelting the ingots into bronze, the mixture is poured into the mold under the supervision of an expert surveyor. Following a 24-hour cooling period, the mold is broken into parts, and excess material is removed with numerical control machines to ensure uniform precision. The propeller is then carefully grinded and finished, engraved with its technical specification, and dynamically balanced. Finally, the propeller undergoes a pitch meter MRI system and 3D scanner for quality assurance. The propeller is thoroughly inspected before it is prepared for packing. ZF Marine is committed to designing and producing state-of-the-art systems for vessels of any size, ensuring that they are propelled towards the future. Machine and Fabrique Alfing Kessler GmbH is a company that specializes in the manufacturing of large crankshafts for internal combustion engines. The manufacturing process of large crankshafts starts with forging. Alfing Kessler uses a closed die forging shop to produce crankshafts up to 4.5 meters in length. For crankshafts between 4.5 and 8 meters in length, throw by throw forging is used. This process involves transforming spindles into forgings using a press force of 3,500 tons. The forging process requires a great deal of experience and precision craftsmanship. After the forging process, pre- and intermediate machining is performed on powerful CNC turning and milling machines. Alfing Kessler uses machines designed specifically for them to achieve the highest levels of precision, with tolerances of as little as one thousandth of a millimeter being achieved. Surface treatment such as induction hardening or stroke painting is also carried out to increase the strength of the crankshaft. Alfing Kessler is entitled to carry out its own classification inspection in-house, which ensures that the crankshafts produced meet the highest quality standards. Preservation and packaging take place in a clean room to ensure that the crankshafts are delivered in perfect condition. New crankshafts are developed together with their customers as part of a simultaneous engineering exercise. Alfing Kessler provides all services in-house, from research and simulation to material analyzes and different fatigue testing methods. Their torsional and bending test benches reveal the strength of the components, and prototypes of all sizes are created quickly in separate development and production areas. Finally, Alfing Kessler produces crankshafts on flexible production lines, with gantry loaders and robots helping to implement highly automated processes. They use innovative and modular hardening machines to improve the performance of crankshafts. Employing series production methods enables them to satisfy all their customers wherever they are, delivering top-quality crankshafts just in time. Win GD's 14RT Flex 96C is a massive and powerful diesel engine, which is considered the most powerful engine in the world, capable of producing up to 110,000 horsepower. It is used primarily in the shipping industry to power the largest container ships and oil tankers, enabling them to travel long distances at high speeds. The engine's design is a result of cutting-edge engineering and technological innovation. It utilizes a unique flexible engine concept that allows for precise control of fuel injection and exhaust gas recirculation, enabling it to meet strict environmental regulations while also providing exceptional fuel efficiency. The engine size is also impressive, with a length of over 27 meters and a weight of over 2,300 tons. Despite its massive size and power, the 14RT Flex 96C is also designed with reliability in mind. The engine is equipped with advanced monitoring and diagnostic systems, allowing operators to detect potential issues before they become major problems. This ensures that the engine can operate at peak performance levels for extended periods, delivering the power and efficiency needed for modern shipping operations. ABB Azipod is a revolutionary propulsion system used in the maritime industry. The assembly process of the Azipod propulsion unit is a complex operation that involves a variety of technical and mechanical steps. 
The first step in the assembly process is to manufacture the pods housing. This involves welding and machining the pod steel structure to exacting specifications. Once the housing is complete, the propulsion system components are installed inside the housing. The propulsion system components include the electric motor, bearings, and gears. These components are installed onto a specially designed cradle that supports the entire propulsion system. The cradle is then lowered into the pod's housing and secured in place. Next, the pod's propeller is attached to the end of the shaft that connects to the electric motor. The propeller is carefully balanced to ensure that it runs smoothly and efficiently. Once the propulsion system is fully assembled, it is tested to ensure that it meets all of the necessary performance standards. This involves running the motor and propeller at various speeds and under different load conditions. Wurtzila is a leading global provider of ship power energy and propulsion solutions. The company has a strong presence in the Netherlands, which is one of the most important maritime nations in Europe. Dating back for centuries to cater to the needs of the local and international markets for ship power, decentralized energy solutions, and services. With over 1,500 employees, Wurtzila is a valued partner to shipyards, ship owners, and operators in Rotterdam. Wurtzila's production of ship parts in the Netherlands is focused on the design, production, and service of propulsion systems. The company offers a full range of fixed and controllable pitch propellers and propeller systems for ships of all kinds and sizes, as well as propeller shafts, stern tube bearings, sealing systems, mooring thrusters, rudders, steerable thrusters, and water jet systems. These components are delivered to shipyards and ship owners all over the world, making Wurtzila a major supplier of ship propulsion systems globally. The production process at Wurtzila is highly precise and involves the use of precision carved molds for each individual propeller. Propellers are cast on site, and then hand ground to give them exact measurements and design properties for an impeccable service life. Wurtzila's production of ship parts is also focused on repair and reconditioning of damaged propellers, which is yet another specialty of the company. In addition to its production of ship parts, Wurtzila is also a major supplier of decentralized power plant solutions based on reciprocating engines and biofuel combustion. These solutions are equally well suited for energy production in urban and industrial areas, as well as in the remotest of locations. Wurtzila's knowledge and support center for its installed base of machinery has the capacity to repair, manufacture, and supply all necessary spare parts, peripherals, and accessories for engines, and to recondition and even completely rebuild every kind and size of four-stroke engine, regardless of whether they are made by Wurtzila or any other manufacturer. Wurtzila's network of marine service centers in the Netherlands is also comprehensive, with a workshop located in Cheetah, next door to the port of Rotterdam, that specializes in the reconditioning of components such as piston crowns, cylinder heads, and exhaust valves of all makes and types of two-stroke engines. The center is manned by professional craftsmen and equipped with necessary tools and machinery, capable of providing a full range of services from engine overhauls and alignments to machining and reconditioning of components.
The MSC Meraviglia is a cruise ship built by the Italian shipyard Fincantieri for MSC Cruises. Its construction process began in 2014 and it was delivered to MSC Cruises in May 2017. Here is a brief overview of the construction process of the MSC Meraviglia. Design and Planning The first step in constructing a cruise ship like the MSC Meraviglia is to design and plan the ship's layout, including its size, shape, and amenities. This phase typically involves a team of architects, engineers, and other specialists who work together to create a detailed blueprint of the ship. Steel cutting and prefabrication. Once the design is finalized, the shipyard begins cutting and shaping steel plates that will form the hull and superstructure of the ship. These steel plates are then prefabricated into sections that can be easily transported and assembled on site. Assembly The prefabricated sections are transported to the shipyard and assembled using cranes and other heavy machinery. The hull is assembled first, followed by the superstructure and other components like the engine room, propulsion system, and onboard amenities. The MSC Meraviglia is equipped with two Azipod units that provide a total power output of 32 megawatts. The installation process of Azipod on the MSC Meraviglia involves several stages. Once the hull preparation was complete, the Azipod units could be installed. The Azipod units were delivered to the shipyard as complete modules, which made the installation process easier. Each Azipod unit was then lifted into place using cranes and secured to its foundation using bolts. After the Azipod units were installed, they were connected to the ship's electrical and control systems. This involved routing cables and wires from the Azipod units to the control room and ensuring that all systems were properly integrated and tested. Interior Outfit After the basic structure of the ship is in place, the interior outfitting process begins. This involves installing all the fixtures, furnishings, and amenities that will make the ship comfortable and enjoyable for passengers. This includes everything from cabinetry and carpeting to restaurants, bars, and entertainment venues. Sea Trials and Testing Once the ship is fully outfitted and ready for operation, sea trials and testing begin. During this phase, the ship is put through a series of tests to ensure that it meets all safety and performance standards. This includes testing the propulsion system, navigation equipment, and emergency procedures. Delivery. After sea trials and testing are complete, the ship is delivered to the owner, in this case, MSC Cruises. The MSC Meraviglia was delivered in May 2017 and has since been sailing on various itineraries around the world.